Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Android tablet, and this particular model actually happens to be able to dual boot Windows and Android software. Uh, so you have a choice between running sort of the full screen applications here like this web browser, or booting into Windows and running desktop style applications. But most Android tablets just run Android. And if you wanted to run a sort of desktop-like environment, there's a tool called Andromium, which is free while in beta, which allows you to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in or connect a Bluetooth keyboard here. Plug in an adapter, which lets me use a wireless mouse. You could also use a Bluetooth one if you had one. And I'm going to launch Andromium here. Now, if you had an external display, you could also uh, connect it with HDMI or um, via a Miracast or Chromecast device. But I'm just going to show you how this works on the tablet itself. So you can see here we've got a sort of desktop where you have uh, different applications here. And we have uh, icons down here for things like running applications and wireless. But then there's also a couple of, uh, there's a sort of start menu and a few different applications, including this Andromium web browser, which doesn't want to launch at the moment. Let's go ahead and launch the file explorer, calculator, and even Minesweeper application. And you can see that they're all running sort of the way you would expect a desktop environment to work. Uh, different windows that you can resize and reposition and even maximize or minimize. Let's see if we can get that web browser up and running. There we go. So again, we can move it around the screen, we can make it go full screen, or we can shrink it or even minimize it and bring it back up. Now there's, those are pretty much the only applications as of uh, late April that are available as Andromium specific apps, but you can also see a list of other applications that are supported. So let's go ahead and launch the ES File Explorer, for instance, we'll close that and get back to this screen or there's a list of untested apps. So these are all the other applications that are available on your device, which may or may not work. So let's see if we can launch the camera application, for instance. Yes, we can. And we can close it and it goes back. Now, when you run those applications, you notice they do not come up in these small uh, resizable or repositionable windows, but uh, they are available to run from this environment. And then if you wanna leave, this and get back to your regular Android interface. You just open up the, uh, the sort of start menu here, click suspend, and it takes you back to your desktop. So that's a quick look at how Andromium works. Uh, if you want to close it, you can pull from the notification and just click the shutdown option. And then we could always relaunch it by clicking the application here. Um, it's a tool that is designed to make an Android phone or tablet or other device feel more like a desktop uh, experience. And again, you can install this on your phone and instead of using it with a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard and your phone, which might look a little bit silly having such a small device there, you could uh, plug it into an external display or use wireless display technology and run a, uh, basically use your phone as a desktop. Fairly limited in the amount of features that it offers right now, but it's the sort of thing where if you don't want to have to have multiple devices, but want to have multiple different user interfaces and experiences, you can get uh, desktop and mobile uh, user interfaces on the same device by using Andromium on top of Android. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can find more details at lilliputing.com.